All right, we're back in the booth tonight. I'd already painted this lure, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and epoxy it and do another short video on the lure coat. Um, kind of follow up to the video I did a little while earlier uh, for those who may have missed it. Um, the lure coat epoxy from Lure Build is a one-to-one -one mix. It's a very good epoxy. I've been using it. We're going to use it on this um, Magnum Square Bill. That's gonna do it right there. So it's a one-to-one -one mix. It has a very good finish on this lure coat. We're gonna go ahead and get this stirred up. I'm gonna take my dryer and heat this just for a second. It's a little bit, it's a little colder here today where I live. heat it up just real quick. I didn't heat the bottles up. And that'll kind of, there it goes. It gives it a lot better consistency. It's just a lot easier to put on. Like I was saying, I did this Magnum uh, S crank in a root candy root beer pattern. Just want to get it mixed up really good. Now what I'll do is I'll go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and move this. I'll go ahead and get my brush good and wet. So I'll start with the brush for a minute because I don't like it to have what I call a dry brush when I'm actually applying the epoxy. So I'll stir it for a minute with my brush. Just by putting that little bit of heat on it, it gives it a perfect um, consistency. If you haven't used the lure build, it is, a, it is a fantastic finish. I got a lure right here I just did. And this was um, a uh, crawl I just did the other night and it's got the lure build on it the epoxy lure coat, and it is a fantastic finish. So you need to go check Jimmy out at lurebuild.com. He's got it in multiple sizes, multiple price points, so it can be, it can fit your budget. All right, so let's go ahead and get this going. I just like to get it on and then I'll move it around. It's very easy to work with. It really makes the baits jump. That root beer candy I used on this really has a, a, a good color. And I'll just go over it one way. I'll go back over it again. I just want to make sure that I'm not um, just missing any parts of the bait. Because that's there's no worse a feeling to have when you go and you epoxy your baits or whatever top coat you're using, and you get up the next day and and you've missed something. And you're going back over it and you don't want to do double work. You don't need but one coat of this, this lure coat on your bait. I 
That root beer really stands out when you get this epoxy on it. I'll go ahead and get some on it and then I'll move it around. But it really does. When you start, the root beer that I actually used on this bait was a, a House of Colors root beer and it's it's by far my favorite root beer color, but it has a fantastic finish. And you can see it's just, the epoxy really makes this thing come to life. I didn't do a video on this. I When I start on switching to those solvent paints, I usually have some trouble with my airbrush going from the water base to that and I and I sure did and I'm I'm kind of glad I, I will do a video on this because this one is a is one of my favorite colors to do and I haven't done a video on it. I just figured I'd show the epoxy in of it. Like I said, then I'll once I feel like I've got it covered fully, then I'll just take long brush strokes over it to cover the whole thing. I've had no issues with bubbles with this. This is, I love this stuff. And the epoxy really makes the candy come out in this bait. I'll post some pictures of it after I've gotten the epoxy on it, but it really is. It's just a, it is a really nice color to use. If you hadn't, haven't used root beer, it's a, it's a really neat color. Good fish catching color too. And I, I'd actually painted the top of this bait yellow and you can see where, you know, where I put the candy. The candies are super transparent, and it still shows the yellow through it. It's just, I just faded the root beer down the sides of it. I used one of Russ's, well, I used Russ's new stencil, the crawl stencil for the shell, but I used one of his, um, um, for the detail shell parts, I used another one of his stencils on there. So you need to go check Russ out at InsaneCustomsStencils.com. Jimmy also sells his stencils. So you can get with Jimmy. Jimmy's got them too. Go ahead and do the bill. Go ahead and get it good and wet. Root beer is a really, really a good springtime color. And I used the seven millimeter solid red eyes. I was going to use a, a yellow eye, but I'm kind of glad I went with the red. It is a, um, it kind of fits with the root beer, the brown. It really has a good look. But that that lure coat is nice on that candy. Just thought I'd do a short video and show this bait. This is one of my favorite colors and patterns to do. The root beer crawl. 
So if you um, like the video, hit the like button, subscribe. I really appreciate all the support I'm getting. Go see Jimmy at lurebill.com. Try this lure coat. I think you'll be, you'll totally love it. It has such a good finish. It'll change the way your lures look. Um, hit the bell notification so you know when I got upcoming videos. I'll catch you next time. Thanks.